Turn once again in your Bibles to Revelation chapter 7. Revelation chapter 7 will continue with part 2 on our series on the 144,000. Revelation chapter 7 introduces them in the New Testament. And in verse number 3, the angel that ascended from the east says to the four angels, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And then it goes on to tell us that there are 144,000 from the 12 tribes of Israel that will be sealed. And Revelation 9, 4 tells us that that sealing process, putting the name of God and the name of the Lamb in the forehead of these 144,000 young men protects them from that day of judgment, the day of the Lord, when these young men will continue to serve their God as bond slaves. And we mentioned that the last, the first message of our series, that these men are of the same caliber, being mentioned with the same Greek word, a doulos is that word, and it is a word that is used to describe our Lord Jesus Christ himself as a servant. Not only that, it describes Paul, Moses, the prophets, Jude, John, Epaphras, Peter, all of these mature servants of God are described with this identical word. Now, if it was if these men were not saved, there are six different words, Greek words, in the New Testament that are translated servant. If these men were merely men who are just chosen at random and not saved at this point in, in time, they would never, God would never use this word to describe them in his precious, flawless, infallible word. No, this word describes men who have attained a caliber of maturity that they are bond slaves unto the God of heaven. Therefore, this title can be proven even if it was just the text itself. We would have to believe that these are mature young men who have given themselves over to serve their master, the God of heaven. However, there are other facts in the Bible that show God also puts his mark upon three other groups of men. In Revelation 3, verse 12, the saints of Philadelphia, the overcomers, will receive a mark in their foreheads. They receive a similar mark in Revelation 22, Verses 2 and 3 shows the glorified saints have a similar mark in their foreheads. But in Ezekiel chapter 9, the third group that are marked shows them receiving the mark to protect them from the coming judgment. In Ezekiel's vision, the very same thing occurs that this mark, which is the signature of God showing his ownership, that these Men, in, in Ezekiel's vision in chapter 9, are also marked similarly as the 144,000. That mark is for protection, very much like these 144,000 bond servants of God. And therefore, we have three illustrations in the Bible, two from the New Testament, one from the Old, showing that those whom God marks are surely men who are born again, who are His who are saved, who are mature saints, who serve the living God, who are willingly go for God's side in the matter, as, as it is in Ezekiel chapter 9. So not only does the text prove that they are Christians, but there are those three illustrations which I gave you, Revelation 3.12, Revelation 22, verse 2 and 3, and then Ezekiel chapter 9 shows a big picture of a vision from Ezekiel where there are men who are marked and then God comes through and judges and they are protected because they are marked just as these 144,000. 
So there are three illustrations. The third thing that we've got to take a look at is, would God put his mark upon someone who has not been redeemed? Surely, he would never put his mark upon an unredeemed man, woman, or child. But here, God's selection of these young men to serve him during the day of the Lord, he puts his mark on him for protection. And they will serve him during that day. They are seen a number of times in the book of Revelation. And so the 144,000, first of all, the text proves it, the three illustrations prove, and also the fact that God would never set his seal upon someone who doesn't know him, whom he hasn't redeemed. Fourth thing that puts a close on this topic is when God uses a man in the scripture or in real life. There is a time of preparation. It took Moses 80 years until God had him ready to bring the, the people out of Egypt. He was being prepared all that time. It took Joshua 40 years under Moses to be ready to take over after Joshua. When you look at the life of Joseph in the Old Testament, it took a couple of decades of God putting him through adversity until he was ready to take a position and represent God, saving the nation of Israel. At that time, 70 souls came out from the land of Canaan into Egypt. And so God always prepares his servants. Look at the Apostle Paul. His preparation, even though he was lost, he learned the scripture. And when God appeared to him, he began to preach Christ. But there was a period of time between the time uh, of his experience on the road to Damascus. He had a period of 17 years in Arabia, getting prepared to do the work that God had allotted for him in his life. And so it is in real life with anyone that God uses, there is that time of preparation. And so it is with these 144,000. God hasn't changed his plan. He will prepare them. And they are seen also in the book of Daniel chapter 11 and Daniel chapter 12. They are seen prior to the time they are sealed during the time of great tribulation, when they are in the land serving the Lord, they are the ones that understand, the ones who do exploits for their God, those that understand it in Daniel chapter 11. And so there is this great group of young men who are going to fulfill the priesthood of the apocalypse. Now, you can get the details. We are just taking a survey. The details of this great group of men are found here in this book, available at prewrath.com. The Priesthood of the Apocalypse. And the foundation for this theory, although it can be proven that these young men are adorned as priests in Psalm 110, verse 3, the very verse before the Lord Jesus Christ is seen as the great high priest when God announces his priesthood. And so the priesthood of the apocalypse, if you're interested, you can download the text or you can buy the paperback, prewrath.com, and get the details. Many questions are answered, which we'll cover the majority of them here in these messages on the 144,000.